Hello, everybody. How are we doing? Hello, hello, hello. It's Saturday and I am live. I'm live. I am live. So for those of you who don't know me, hey, Angelique, how are you doing? My name is Jackie. I am a life and business coach. What I do is I help Hey, Norman, how are you doing? What I do is I help new and future entrepreneurs build their life, their finances, and their business. So normally I come on on certain days. Saturday is not generally one of those days, but live on Saturday, woo woo. But today, this is such a, a, a big topic that I think is vital for everybody. So I needed to come on, I'm on, um, several of my platform. Hello, LaRamsey. Thank you for joining me. I'm on my personal uh, Facebook page. I'm on um, my group for women that's called Uplift. I'm on Instagram and I'm on YouTube. So wherever you are watching me, make sure that you share this broadcast. Sharing is caring. Don't let this valuable message. Hello, how are you doing, cousin? Hello, my coach, how are you doing? Don't let this valuable message stop with you. So today's topic, today's topic is how to manifest what you want. I'll say it again, how to manifest what you want. And so I thought to myself, this is the perfect time of year to bring this vital topic to the people, to the people. Hey, Shannon, how are you doing? You doing all right today? Hope I'm, hey, Nicole, how are you doing? Thank you for joining me. Anyway, so we're going to get into it. Hello, I am Gleason. Thank you for joining me. I know everybody's saying, it's Saturday and Jackie's on. Yes, she on, because this is important. We're going to get into it. We're getting into it. Okay, so for those of you who have never watched me, I am all about edutainment, okay? So I bring you valuable information to transform your life, but I do it in an entertaining way. Okay, because I'm not boring. Why should my message be boring? Hello, I gotta put a little Jackie in it. <laughs> anyway, let's get let's get down to it because I know y'all got a busy Saturday, and so do I. Okay, so number one, number one, number one, number one is get clear, clear, be clear about what you want, okay. And what I mean is specific, the details. It's like you are the author or co-author of your own story. So in order for you to manifest exactly what you want, you have to have the courage to get more specific. And I mean details. It's just like you writing a a love story. You're showing love for yourself, for your business. Hello, Gretchen. Thank you for joining me for yourself, for your business, for whatever goals you want to manifest. Okay. This is the end of the year, right? There's no time to start working on how to manifest the, the, what you want for 2020 then today. Get into it, everybody. Anyway, so be specific. More, the more details you have, like for instance, if you want a house, I want a six-bedroom house. I want two acres of land. I want a uh, a colonial-style brick home with a, a wraparound porch and a, a detached garage and the income to afford such house, or I wanna be able to buy this home in cash. And how you wanna do it, the more specific you are, the, the you increase the chances of you manifesting. Because the reason why you want to do it is we are creatures of energy, right? Um, what we speak, what we think, what we 
what we believe sends vibrations, vibrations into the universe. Hello, Ron. Thank you for joining me. Sends vibrations into the universe. Okay. So for for example, if we say, oh, I can't never get a leg up because this and because of that and because of that, what we do is we repel the things that we say we want away from us. So instead of it manifesting, even if you're praying for it, instead of it manifesting, we have blocked the thing that we want because of our negative language, so we have to reprogram everything, right? So you have to, number one, get a clear, uh, clear on what you want here because what happens is it helps you to ask. Ask, I'm glad you're alive. Oh, thank you. Then it helps you to get to number two. Number two is your ask, ask. The Bible says, ask and ye shall receive. For those who believe in God or believe in a higher power or believe that we are connected to the universe, you have to develop your ask. If you don't do step one, how do you know what you want? How do you know what to ask? Hello, Bailey. Thank you for joining me. So we are talking about, my name is Jackie. I'm a life and business coach. Um, what we're talking about is manifesting what you want. And so I gave you the first two steps. The first one is be clear what you want. And number two is ask. And number three, hello, Carol. Carol, how are you doing? Thank you for joining me. Number three is work toward your goals. Once you know what you want, okay, and you've asked, the higher power, whether you believe in the universe or you believe in God, um, whatever you believe you've asked, you want to work toward the goal. I'm going to give you an example because there are many people ask and we shall receive. Yes. Thank you, Carol. That is so true. Um, we want to work toward the goal. So you're believing that this is for you and your life. Okay, you've already asked to receive it, right? Then you have to work toward your goal. So say there are many people who join me who are single. Sometimes people are single by choice. Sometimes people are single because they had bad relationships. Some of us are looking for love. Some of us are looking for love. Some of us are looking for some money. And some of us are looking for a way to impact our world, right? So to work toward that, there are some things that only you know that interfere with, because we're working toward making things be attracted to us that we have to work on. What? You mean you have to have personal development? Yes, you have to personally develop you. Okay, because you're the only thing that stops you from having, from manifesting everything you want, because everything is there. It's waiting on you to open your arms up and to receive it. And in order for you to open up your arms like this and to receive it, you got to let go of those things you've been holding on to because they're stopping you from receiving. If you run around with your fist like this or like this, okay, like this. How can you receive something? You cannot receive anything unless, you're, unless you welcome it, unless your hands are wide open. Okay, so the work does that. It allows you to work on your mindset, on your way of thinking, on your life, whatever it is you're working for, do the work. And it all means you're working on you. Okay, so number four, you have to trust the process, okay? So um, it, scripture tells us it's the belief in things that we have not seen, okay? Hey, how are you doing? How are you doing, Sunshine? Thank you for joining me. Um, believing, trusting in the process is believing these things are for you. There is a long for a lot, many of years, I suffered from that. Like, I believed that things were possible, but I believed 
for a long time, to be honest, that they were possible for other people. And so in an essence, even though I was doing some work, because I didn't believe that these things or trust the process, I was repelling those things, those blessings, those uh, the manifestations of the things that I wanted from me. And we have to learn how to attract those things. Number five, number five, receive and acknowledge what you what you want. Okay, and this involves what I'm really talking about is besides the things I mentioned is scripting. So those of you who don't know what scripting is, scripting is a way the Bible says, write it down, write the vision and make it plain. Right. So scripting is a way of writing what your vision is for your life. It's like a. Those of you who are familiar with the vision board, it's like a vision board of words. Your writing as though it is already done. Okay, you're writing, um, and you're showing gratitude. You're showing gratitude. Oh, I'm thankful for the brown, the the red brown stone that I have been blessed with is six bed seven bedrooms and a basement um with a uh with an island in a kitchen and you be more specific you're writing it down hello blayton thank you for joining me i'm talking about how to manifest what you want so that's what scripting does and so i i brought this uh I bought this and, and it can be, you can get any type of journal that you want in order to do the scripting, but it's better if you get something that is, that uh, encourage you or motivate you or something that connects your thoughts with what you're trying to do. So one of the things I did is I got this, this, um, this notebook, right? Notebook, journal, whatever you want to call it. And the reason why this I found attractive to me is because one of my goals is to reach women, is to help women understand the power that you have and that you, you are worthy of so many great things, okay? To get out there and get yours. And so on here, you see, and what motivated me about this is that it has, if you look really closely, I don't know if y'all can see it, is it has many different shades of women. And some of them have, and they're different, and see, some of them have bathing suits, bathing suits on, which means to me, in my head, they're, from, they're in different locations. So one of my goal is to reach women uh, throughout the world and to uh, help them learn about their self-worth, um, to transform their life, their finances, and their business. And there are different types of people who have different cultures and, and different areas. So this was perfect for me. Okay, so I've given you, number one, be clear on what you want. Number two, ask. Number three, work toward your goal, which is the action steps. Number four, trust the process. Number five, acknowledge, I mean, receive and acknowledge what you want. And I use scripture. Other methods is prayer and affirmations. So number six is keep your vibrations high. And one of the things is because we are creatures of energy right? We want things to come to us so we cannot repel them. We want them to come in. We don't want to repel them. Okay. So in order to do that, you got to keep your energy high. You got to keep positivity flowing into your environment because we want to manifest these things. And how we do it is number seven. And this is my last tip by getting rid of the resistance. Resistance could be your negative thoughts, the way you talk. It could be even 
Um, for example, if you want to be more feminine, finding what you feel is more feminine. Like I mentioned last night, I was in a conversation that to me, one of the things that helped me feel more feminine is wearing earrings, right? So I, I don't always wear my earrings, but I put them on because, hello, Mildred, because it was a perfect example of how to rid some resistance. And, and it's simple as that. And I mentioned my book by surrounding yourself with positive people who are about change, not sharing, not sharing your journey with everybody who don't understand. Uh, we make the mistake by sharing our goals, the things we want to manifest in our life with people who are in the trenches. Because somebody that's in the trenches is not going to understand about overcoming because they never overcame. I'm going to say it again. Somebody that's in the trenches will never understand about overcoming if they never left the trenches, if they never overcame that area that you're trying to overcome. And the trenches could be anything, whatever, whatever situation that you are in currently, that is what I refer, that you want to get out this is called to me i use this as the trenches okay so if you know for example if you know that you are wanting to get married if being being married is one of your things you want to manifest you need to get around married people be like what but i'm single no you need to learn to associate with married people because what it is is by you associating with married people, you are reprogramming your life as a married person. Remember, we're operating as though we already have. And what happens is some of the habits of a married person spills onto you. Okay, you start to adapt things because these married people weren't always married. You get the opportunity to hear stories about challenges they had and how they met they made and some things that happened because you're entering into a mindset, a new mindset. And I'm not saying abandon all your single friends, but let's face it, there are many people who are satisfied singles and have no intentions on getting married and have a negative uh, outlook on being married. This is why you want to Add more married people if that's your goal into your life. People who are, hello, Park, thank you for joining me. I'm talking about how to manifest. People who are in happy marriages. You may even want to um, go on, join um, groups, groups where they have married people. Because even, I mean, they have Facebooks that help people be better wives. If you desire to be a, a wife, start training now because what that does is that helps attract the things that you want and that's it in a nutshell just to, to reiterate number one uh get a clear get clear on what you want number two ask for what you want number three work towards your goal goals which is action steps number four trust the process number five receive and acknowledge what you want number six keep your high your vibrations high number seven get rid of the things that repel or the resistance from your goal that's it in a nutshell how to manifest what you want so like i said make sure you you share this broadcast sharing is caring y'all it listen i put a link up on top of it it's link tree link tree slash route to victory and the reason why that's linked there is because number one you need to save it number two you need to sign up for a uh discovery call because what i specialize i am a life and business coach what i do is i help new future entrepreneurs the three areas that i help you in is your life your finances 
and your business. So sign up and get your life together. Manifest what you want. Sign up and sign up today and schedule you a discovery call. Let's manifest what we want for 2020. I want to manifest what I want. If that is you, if that sounds like you, you want to click the link tree forward slash Ralph, the number two victory, which is also found in my bio and sign up for your free discovery call today. That's all I have. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for watching the replay. If you're watching the replay, do me a favor, share this broadcast, put hashtag replay so I can say what up. Okay. And whatever you do, make sure you join me Monday, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, because there is more for you. Bye, y'all.